Welcome back everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple and, um, well, useful, I guess, T flip-flop for the Bedrock Edition and the Java Edition of Minecraft. I'm in Bedrock right now, but this tutorial also works for Java. Anyways, um, it's really, really simple. All you're going to need for this is a nice butt, of course. Um, so you'll need three droppers, one hopper, a redstone comparator, and any unstackable item i've just chosen a wooden shovel because it's pretty much the cheapest item um you can get which is also unstackable yeah and i've just got a button and a redstone lamp so i can demonstrate this to you all right so i've got two things over here which i'm going to use to explain to you what a t flip-flop does yeah so first off let's look at this one over here if i hit this button we get a pulse yeah, so um, the button goes down, as you can see, the redstone lamp turns on and off again for as long as it gets powered. Yeah, well, let's compare that to this over here. This is a lever. If I flick this, as you can see, the redstone gets powered and the lamp turns on. This lamp is going to turn on and stay on forever until I hit the switch again to turn it off. What our good friend, the T flip flop over here is going to do is it's going to allow us to give it a pulse like this button over here, but to then let the lamp stay on forever until I give it another pulse, which is going to turn the lamp off. So first, what you're going to want to do is just to face any direction um, and then place a dropper over here. You want to make sure that you can see the mouth of the dropper, which is that part over there. Um, as you can see, you want to locate the side that that's on and then you want to get on the block in front of that. Yeah. Then you want to jump and place another dropper. Um, the mouth of this dropper should be facing up just like this one is, um, as you can see, just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to stand behind this, just like so, so right over here, um, crouch, and then place another dropper on top of that, yeah? And you want the mouth of this dropper to be facing towards that dropper over there. The placement of these is very important, because if you place them wrong, then this entire thing will not work. Um, although that isn't that big of an issue, since it's really easy to just tear down and rebuild. Anyways, what you can do next is you can crouch, and then just place a hopper over here. You want to make sure that the funnel of the hopper is facing in to this dropper over here. To test that, you can throw any item into the hopper, and don't miss it, of course. Um, throw any item into the hopper, and it should end up in this bottom dropper over here. Once you've tested that, um, you know that this is going to work. Lastly, you can just place a redstone comparator right over here. Um, Behind this dropper, you want to make sure the two points of this redstone comparator are um, and are facing towards this, yeah, and that this little red dot is facing away from your T flip flop, yeah. Um, then um, this is your T flip flop. It's gonna work, yeah. Um, all you need to do to make it work is insert your unstackable item into this dropper. So this corner dropper over here. That's where you want to insert your item, yeah? Um, so to demonstrate the working of this, I'll place a redstone lamp over here so you can see that nicely. And then I'll place a button over here. Um, because remember, a T flip-flop turns a pulse, which is um, a, a short signal, into um, just a regular signal everlasting. Um, perhaps it's easier to show you if I put some redstone dust in between that. Yeah, so let me place a red, some redstone dust over here, yeah? And what you'll see happen when I click the button is that the redstone dust, it flashes. Um, as you saw, I can do it a few more times. When I click the button, the redstone dust flashes. Yeah, there we go. And if I now click the button once again, as you can see, the redstone dust will flash, but the redstone lamp will turn on. And this redstone lamp will turn on and stay on forever until I press this button again, giving another pulse 
um, and then turning this off forever until I feed it another pulse and turn it on forever. Um, and that's that. That's your T flip flop. Um, this is really simple. Although, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave those out in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.